Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on solar chimney power plant and it is also called as solar updraft power plant. So first I will read what is the given problem. It is proposed to set up a solar chimney power plant in Rajasthan with a chimney 300 meter high. Calculate maximum possible conversion efficiency obtainable with chimney. Also estimate efficiency of the plant as a whole and the daily electrical output in a typical summer month in kilowatt hour. If solar collection area of greenhouse is 50,000 meter square, where specific heat is equal to 1005 joule per kilogram Kelvin, ambient air temperature 305 Kelvin. The turbine generator set converts only 50% out of maximum available energy into electrical energy. The collection efficiency of solar collector is 25%. Solar radiation in Rajasthan 6.5 kilowatt hour per meter square. So this was the given problem. Now let us first understand what is the structure of this solar chimney. So if we observe here is the chimney and here around which there is the transparent cover and here there is the structure of greenhouse in which this cold air is getting entered. Now what is happening when the solar energy incident on this transparent cover or it is passes through this transparent cover it is getting absorbed by this cold air. Now what is happening when the energy, solar energy is getting absorbed by the cold air, it becomes hot. And due to the convection process, this cold air becomes hot and then it is drawn through this central chimney. So here this chimney structure is at the center and the cold air is getting entered from all sides of this greenhouse structure. So what is happening? the cold air becomes hot and then it is drawn through this chimney and then it is moved to the outside. Now what happens when it enters at the central chimney here are the air turbines. Then there is the energy that is in the moving air moving air whatever is the energy available that is converted into the mechanical energy by this air turbine. And then this mechanical energy is converted into the electrical energy that is by the generator which, which is attached to this air turbine. So this is the function of the solar chimney. Now we will understand what is the given data and which factors we have to find out. Chimney height that means here is the chimney and it is given 300 meter. Then the solar collection area of greenhouse. So here is the greenhouse where the air is getting trapped. So what is the area that is 50,000 meter square. Then CP that is the specific heat of air that is 1005 joule per kilogram Kelvin. Then the ambient air temperature that means the air which is getting entered into this greenhouse that is called as ambient air temperature 305 Kelvin. Then the turbine generator efficiency. So here is the turbine and here is the generator. So its efficiency is given that is the 50%. Then the solar collector efficiency. So here is the solar collectors which the solar energy is incident on it and it is supplied to the air so its efficiency is given that is 25 percent then the solar radiation in Rajasthan so what is the incident energy that particular location for Rajasthan it is given 6.5 kilowatt hour per meter square now which factors we have to find out we have to find out what is the efficiency of this chimney then efficiency of a plant as a whole so in the efficiency of a plant as a whole we have to take the we have to consider the efficiency of a chimney efficiency of this turbine and generator as well as efficiency of the solar collector because in this there are the what are the 
in this whole structure or the structure of this solar chimney plant here chimney is getting included this turbine then this generator and here the location of the collector or we can say solar collector that are getting included so we have to consider all the efficiency and then what is the daily electrical output so here this generator converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy so we have to also find out what is the electrical energy output now we will move for the first question so what is the first question efficiency of the chimney so for to calculate this efficiency of this chimney there is the formula that is g into h divided by cp into ta so what is g so we know the value of g that is 9.81 that is the gravitational acceleration then what is h so h is given that is 300 that is the height of the chimney then cp so here cp is given that is 1005 and ambient air temperature ta that is 305 so if we observe this cp is given joule per kilogram kelvin and here the temperature is given in kelvin so there is no need of the any conversion so what is the answer so if we calculate this we will get the answer 0 0.0096 so this is the answer for nita max that is the efficiency so we can convert this efficiency into the percentage so we have to divide this value by 100 so 0.96 percent is the efficiency of the chimney now again efficiency of a plant as a whole so in this whole plant we have to consider the efficiency of chimney efficiency of this turbine generator and efficiency of this collector so what is the efficiency of the chimney that is 0 0.0096 multiplied by efficiency of the turbine so here the turbine generator efficiency is given 50 percent that is 0 0.50 multiplied by efficiency of the collector so solar collector efficiency is 25 percent that is 25 percent means 0 0.25 so if we calculate this we will get the answer 0 0.0012 so we can convert this into the percentage that is we will say nita overall because the overall means for the whole plant which is equal to 0 0.12 percent so here is the answer now we will move for the third question daily electrical output so for this daily electrical output how to calculate this so here is the solar radiation incident on a particular area so for this area solar radiation is getting incident so here is some collection area and then what is the efficiency of the plant so we have to find out this electrical output in kilowatt hour so what is the solar radiation incident so it is also given in kilowatt hour so no need of conversion so if we take this 6.5 now the solar radiation incident is given for unit square area or per unit area so what is the total area so solar collection area is given 50,000 meter square so we have to multiply here with 50,000 meter square and efficiency of the plant so here we have to take the overall efficiency because when the electrical energy is getting generated we have to consider this all the efficiency that is chimney this air generator combination and this collector so here is the overall efficiency that is 0 0.0012 so when we calculate this we will get the answer 390 kilowatt hour so this is the answer 